Hi everyone, welcome to my brand new series, An Edited Life, where I share with you my top organisation tips for every room in your home. I can't believe I haven't really done anything like this before, but I was thinking of doing something new on my channel. You guys know I love life organisation, I literally wrote a book on it, An Edited Life, I'll link that down below for you. And I thought I would take you for a little tour of our flat. So today's edition is gonna be on the kitchen. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of the space. We're gonna go around, talk about the area, like how we planned it. And then I'm gonna give you my top five organization tips for your kitchen. And then one very special tip that is a space saving tip. If you're struggling on space, this is the one tip that you need. I'm gonna do that format in every single video. So hopefully I can save you guys on a little bit of square footage here and there with some great organization tips. And yeah, hopefully you like it. Like, give us your feedback. What could we improve? Do you like this format? What room in our flat do you wanna see next? I think it's probably gonna be about five or six in the series, and at the end, we're gonna do a big cleaning extravaganza. Oh yeah, speed cleaning, here we come. But, on to the episode. <laughs> first a mini little room tour so we're starting off the tour in what i like to call the coffee corner um it is not a frequently used corner of the kitchen as you'll see like all of our cooking bits in the fridge are kind of in other areas but this is more of a utility space for us we don't have a utility room so we have our washing machine here this is sort of extra bits that we need for the washing machine and we've got like all of our tote bags and stuff a picnic blanket and then up here i mean this is a random space but we've got vases and pots and stuff um, mark had a beard brewing phase and so we've got some extra leftover bits here and then this is our shit drawer which we've tried to organize to the best of our ability we will get to that in a little bit and then as we wander over we reach this area um so this is actually a really handy space and when we were designing the kitchen we wanted a space that we could put our ironing board and our mop and our sweep a broom <laughs> can you t can you tell that i never sweep. use it <laughs> sweep. our vacuum cleaner our iron all stuff like that so that is a really 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 handy space and then here we have our fridge um which is kind of well stocked at the moment like look at all that food two lemon and poppy seed loaves oh yes recipe coming very very soon for that these are amazing they're from ikea and they're just glass bottomed tupperware boxes and they have honestly changed our life if you invest in one thing make it those we've got our freezer on the bottom and then along here we just have a little bit of storage we have a dishwasher we have all of our cleaning supplies perhaps my favorite part of the kitchen which is the bin it is so nice to like chop here and then just go and stick it all in the bin. We are here for that. Up here we've got dinnerware bowls, um, and then we sort of start on a few of our pantry staples. Um, we've weirdly got loads of alcohol. We don't even drink that much alcohol. Who wants to party at us? <laughs> Actually, people do come around to drink our alcohol quite a lot, but I'm okay with it because we've got so much. It's always left over from like our wedding, that was three years ago, my party, that was like six months ago. Um, and then this space here is all of our sort of pantry store cupboard bits. We will go through these in a bit more detail later on, but I feel like we're, we're kind of pretty organized there. Um, in these drawers, we've got cutlery, we've got pans and baking sheets, all that kind of stuff. Here we've got our microwave, our oven. At the top, more extras. This is a difficult one, actually. This is probably our least organized drawer of the whole kitchen because it's high it's difficult to get to um again more of mark's beer brewing paraphernalia a few more bake bits under there like trays that sort of stuff and then we have a mini glassware collection and all of our cookbooks which i just absolutely adore my favorite cookbook is this one from my grandma grandma's recipe book featuring hand written recipes from my grandma. There, there's loads. There is honestly loads in it, guys. It's so cute. So Mark and I actually designed this kitchen when we first moved in five years ago, and I don't think there is too much that we would change. We probably wouldn't have bamboo work surfaces 
and I'm not sure I'd suggest a white tiled floor in a kitchen. But aside from that, I feel like we're quite happy with the decisions that we made. And one thing that we really, really love, perhaps one of our favorite design features of the kitchen, is to have more drawers where possible. Um, so this is obviously an organization tip to think of if you're planning on renovating your kitchen or redoing your kitchen anytime soon, but drawers are so, so handy. And this drawer normally has all of our uh, like food storage containers in, um, but it's empty because they are all in our fridge. <laughs> but these are so much handier if you can stack them and then look at them from above and we can just take one out instead of having them piled up in a shelving cupboard and having to take like a whole stack out and then take one off of the top. So normally that drawer is absolutely chock full of these boxes and it just makes getting things out so much easier. And with our pans and our baking sheets, our really like big Dutch oven-y type things, again, we store those in drawers. It is just so, so, so handy and so much easier to get things in and out and keep things organized. So definitely something to think of if you're planning a kitchen or designing a kitchen anytime soon. So my second tip would be to make the most of space in your cupboards. So our cupboards are quite narrow in a way, but then also very, very tall. So you could put maybe like one shelf in the middle, but actually you could put so many more shelves in and make much better use of your space. And an example of that is what we've done here, which is where we keep our pantry goods. So previously in here, you can see obviously we have the one at the bottom, one at the top, and we had sort of goods on top. But these are so, so helpful because they've basically given me a whole another shelf, which is brilliant. Um, I'll link these down below. I just got them off of Amazon, but they're so good for all of your tin stuff because it means you can get something off of the bottom. Whereas obviously if it's like that and you need to get the one off the bottom, it's just so much easier to organize, far easier to grab things. Basically, like I was saying about the drawers. You just want to organize things and store things in a way that just makes things very quick when you need them and you're so much more likely to keep things tidy that way, put things back in a very tidy way like when we do our shopping. Everything has a home which is great because it means that everything stays organized without you even needing to put in too much work. So in here I've got all of our baking goods, tinned goods, more like macaroni and pasta and rice, that kind of thing. I mean, this isn't the most organized space, but this has our fruit and nuts in, some supplements, but everything is very easy to grab. So definitely my top tip, get one of these. They are fab. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people when it comes to kitchen organization feel like the fast track to getting there is to put everything in Kirma jars and label them, which is definitely what I did for a hot minute. And um, so here I have self-raising flour in my Kilner jar. I'm um, actually, I think these were from Ikea, they're way cheaper. Um, and then this is my label maker, it's from Dymo. I'll link it down below for you. I use this across many things in the home, not just this. Um, it does make things look organized and nice and very Instagrammable, but I would say don't feel pressure to do that because actually it's quite faff. It means when you go to the supermarket, you pick up flour, you then have to come home. And instead of just putting flour into your pantry, you then have to empty it out, put it in there. It's, it creates an extra step, which you might not necessarily keep up with. So I would say don't feel pressure. However, there are two bonuses aside from the fact that it looks nice. Um, number one, it does keep your goods fresher for longer. You're obviously keeping them contained, which is nice. And number two, if you do end up with any friends or critters in your kitchen, obviously it is more hygienic and nicer to have things stored away. So food for thought there, but I would say don't feel pressure to do it. If you think that it's something that you're not going to keep up with, don't waste your money, don't waste your time. You can keep things really nicely organized just in their bags. When I was on book tour, the number one question was, number one, where is Mark? <laughs> number two, what is your one organization tip? Like what's the one thing that everyone can do that's instantly going to make you feel like way more organized in your life? And my answer was always, sort out your shit drawer. You know the one, it's full of takeaway menus, the Ikea like toolbox, rulers, battery, stationery, a tape measure. Like we've all got that drawer. Previously in our London flat, we had this one drawer and it would often like, uh, 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 like you literally couldn't get it open. And I refuse to have that in this flat. And so from day one, we've had this. And this is a really handy little Muji number, I think. I obviously used my label maker 
I've put things into categories. So I've got like clothing care on the top for all my sewing-y things, my cashmere comb. And then we've got stationery. So this is where our scissors live, markers, tape, glue, pins, elastic bands, you know the drill. And then on the bottom, bits and bobs and batteries, uh, which is exactly that. Birthday candles, do you want that? Ooh, super glue. I was looking for this the other day. Basically, it's all in there. Um, also, massive pack of batteries because Mark did some bulk buying off of Amazon. But keeping things organized in more of an upright vertical drawer setup might be an easier way for you to store all of your shit drawer stuff. Um, it's just easier to see, it's all organized. We've got all of our like medical bits here. There's a couple of random bits on top, but these are all things that we use quite often. So like my steamery. <laughs> that needs to be charged. Parcel tape. Again, these are things that we all use really often. And then because I'm my mother's daughter at the side, I have birthday cards and gift wrapping, that kind of stuff. So this is a corner that just comes in very, very handy. But if you can keep it organized, it will make you feel like a boss. So I know I said that if you're going to buy one thing to make it a glass bottomed food container box, scratch that one of these. It is easily the most fun part of our kitchen. It makes me happy every time I open up this cupboard. And it is a spinning Lazy Susan. Like this to me is pure organization porn. Um, previously, we just had all of our spices like crowned in here. And then we had like a, like a double layer. They were like on top. So trying to find a spice was really, really hard. And we love to cook, we love cooking at home. And this just makes it just an absolute dream when you need to flavor something. I'm like, oh, this needs some chili. And I just go around here and I've got my chili powder, my chili flakes, my cayenne pepper. I have kind of gone through and slightly organized them just so similar ones are like grouped together. So I've got my ground coriander next to my coriander seeds, my hot smoked paprika next to my sweet smoked paprika, my cumin seeds next to my ground cumin. You get the gist. Um, but down here I've got more cooking spices, things that we use for dinner. So ten I tend to be in more of a rush when I'm cooking those. So I wanted those easier to grab. I've got all my oils, olive oil, tahini, sesame oil, that thing. Obviously salt and pepper, the easiest to grab. And then up the top here, I've got some mm. olive oil that just won't fit down there. Mm. And then more of my acids. Um, so balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar, that kind of thing. And then up here, I've got more herbs, baking spices. And then on the top, just sort of random things that wouldn't fit anywhere else, but that we use quite often. But they are so handy i honestly don't know what we did before these and i've bought them for so many people in my life mark's mum my mum my grandma everyone absolutely loves these they will bring you great happiness in your life i'll link them down below <laughs> so those are my five like general kitchen organization tips and now it's time for the ultimate space saving hat i feel like there should be music over that like a title sequence with a rainbow you know what i mean um, but i do have one very special tip, if you are low on space, this is the one thing that I would do over everything else. And that is invest in these. I have no idea what the official title is, but I'm guessing shelf divider separator type thing. Really, really handy for all of your dinnerware, especially plates, bowls, that kind of thing. We had all of these plates stacked up on top of each other. Not only did they keep on breaking, which was a real pain, but if you needed like this one, it meant that you had to like create a wedge and push all of the other plates up before you got to the plate at the bottom. Um, and so now this has really, really saved us. So definitely my top tip, because it not only protects your plates, makes you much less likely of breaking something, um, it just makes getting that plate out ah, a breeze, whereas previously it would have um, been a real workout. Um, so definitely a very, very helpful thing to invest in. We also have one in this cupboard for our bowls, which is perhaps even more handy because it is high up. So getting this bowl from the bottom was always an ultimate, ultimate faff. Um, so really, really love those. If you've got a small space, and you're working with a lot of plates or dishes, whatever it is stacked on top of each other, that is really, really gonna help you out. So that was the first episode of an edited home, the kitchen edition. Let me know what you think, any improvements that we can make for episode two, anything else that you would like to see, what room do you wanna see next? I'm all ears, but hopefully you found that helpful. Um, all of the things I've mentioned will be linked down below for you. And um, yeah, happy editing. See you soon, bye.